Hey guys, welcome back to our Garden Chronicles. Guys, um, I have been giving you little updates as to what happened over the uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays with uh, my uh, vegetables. I had kind of told you, but I hadn't showed you because I was on, I was waiting till I got outside and went through the greenhouse and the stuff that I had over here in this grow bed to uh, give you my, you know, I was working on my own final analysis as to how did it, how the stuff withstood that type of weather. Guys, I had a lot of knowledge about those type freezes uh, when I was doing my planning, when my parents were doing their planning back in the days. We used to have weather like that. And I know it's a lot of people that's over in my generation, born from the 50s on back, know that we could have that type of cold weather with the icicles hanging off the house and the grounds all frozen and your parents doing everything in their power to protect and keep the water from freezing and all of that stuff. So that really wasn't anything new to me here in Alabama. Even though some of the generations and stuff ahead of us probably thinking that we really didn't get that cold of weather, but Tuck and I, we knew better. So I, since I was chronicalizing my starting back to garden, I just went head on and played it by ear. I didn't cover anything. I didn't do anything to winterize simply because I wanted to know exactly what would happen. So guys, this is not a this is a kind of a quick video because I'm getting ready. We're getting ready to go grocery shopping. But this is the uh, results of, you know, the uh, heirloom, Baker Creeks, uh, collards and stuff that I had planted. And I told you guys that I would keep you up to date with it. Because guys, I'm all about heirloom. But I don't know, you know, how that stuff will work like it used to work back in the day. So that's when I was keeping a, cold, a close eye on this stuff. You know, first of all, when I planted the uh, seeds, I mean, yeah, I planted me and Britt and I planted the seeds and I left it outside because the weather would permit and the wind got to it and just destroyed them. You remember I told you guys that? I had planted out, of, I think it was about, how many of uh, six pipes did I plant here? About three? Mm, something like that. Yeah, it was about three. And some of them, I, you know, the, the plant, the, uh, the seedlings had grown up and they was doing all good and everything and then that happened and so Tuck told me say that wind that blew over your little uh, your seed tray and everything is just destroyed I said really oh goodness but when I came out and seen it I seen I said some of this may can be saved because I could see that the roots and stuff was still intact and that's what I did I put into nursing it and Put it inside of the greenhouse so it wouldn't I wouldn't take a chance on it getting blown over again with the uh, weather and stuff and I just kept nursing and nursing the few uh, that I had left and so they took off so the first one that I got to look and sort of good because this I wanted to know how it was gonna do out here in the raised bed now this was this fall guys and I put I put some out in the raised bed and I left some in the greenhouse and this is one of the ones that I left in the greenhouse. And so when the uh, weather did what it did, a lot of other stuff that I had in the greenhouse, it it got, you know, it just was a total loss. You know, my lettuce and stuff, if you look back over the uh, video, the lettuce and stuff that Brittany had planted, even though we had harvested and got a lot out of it, wasn't feeling too bad about it. But the and the collards and stuff, they was looking awful. It kind of took them down. But I was looking at them. I said, all I think, I told Tuck, I said, we just need to get this uh, 
dead stuff off of it and I went in and worked my dirt up and then I put a little I put some plant food on it and it started to come back to life even though we had several more cold days on it but it started doing good and I said okay then I said let's take them out of the um, greenhouse and just sit them over in the uh, grow bed and let's see how this gonna work outside because you remember guys I'm chronicalizing what I'm growing and I'm doing the old country girl way I'm using a whole lot of my knowledge that I can remember when I was growing my garden back here about what 30 years ago now if this was if this had been uh, if I was telling you this stuff uh, 30 years ago I would have a whole lot more knowledge to tell you guys that could that could really help you but I had to refresh before I go share that's all I'm gonna do is share if anything you guys uh, want to know when you see that I plant something out here I can tell you with a little bit more confidence I don't want to go out telling you stuff that um, I'm not really sure about now like I was 30 years ago so anyway this is these are the collars and I will be ordering some more of those real soon because try to order your seeds earlier before planting season simply because they usually out of a lot of things I always get my stuff up around this time of year and start uh, having it for when I'm ready to plant because if you go to wait until the last minute your um your choices and stuff is not going to be that good so guys this is the um the heirloom the heirloom collards from baker creek i'm going to show you what he can show on this side and then i'm going to show you the one now all of this now this was in the greenhouse i left this outside but you know i showed you my tuck got a video we got a video up with with uh tuck cropping these greens and showing you how he cropped his greens and stuff but they was left outside I didn't put a cover over them or anything simply because I was very careful which we, me and Tuck had discussed the area that you plant your vegetables in the ones that need sun the one need fear to sun uh, direct sun the type of vegetables or plants or whatever you plant make sure you know your property enough to know where the sun come in when it's the brightest and 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 how long the sun lasts in that area that's very important guys when you're growing stuff so that was the reason i chose to it's a raised bed for that particular reason to put my uh plants that was going to need a lot of sun plant it put it over the vegetables or whatever in this area and it worked out fine. So we so took to show you the Georgia collards. We are uh, and they was absolutely delicious. I had uh, like I cooked some for Thanksgiving and my son and his family was supposed to be coming for Thanksgiving, but they didn't get a chance to come, but they came. I had we had a funeral in um December. And then uh, the next week, he came right back with his family, and we had a wonderful time. That's when it was really, really cold. And I mean, I just cannot explain, guys, how blessed we was with the time that we shared with them, even though we didn't get to do it at Thanksgiving as planned. I spoke on it too early. You know, I told you, speaking on stuff, you know, it get a jinx it. But we took all the uh, dead off of that. And I know you guys remember this one that uh, um, I put out here. I showed you guys. I, I did several videos and stuff showing you guys how I was monitoring these plants. This was one of the ones that got damaged real bad. And uh, I don't know if Tuck go walk, walk over because he, his stuff really wasn't doing that well. But we he went to doctoring his uh, collard plants. And through all of that Arctic breeze, they really was kind of, they were, really wasn't that that strong, but they made it. So you're showing them all of this. And guys, I'm going to go around. I know you can remember the cabbage, but we was kind of smart with the cabbage because cabbage is what we had because my son and his girls, they love cabbage. So we was able to get out here. We had already gotten some once, but we was able to get out here 
and get a very nice mess of these cabbage before this hit. And then it was some that was left over here. The one that we had uh, got the heads out of. They had some very nice heads and everything. So uh, I, it might have been one over there that we just kind of lost and I just went ahead on and cut it all off. But guys, I just had to show you guys what was left of the uh, of my uh, vegetables after that hard freeze. But I got plans. Excuse me if it's the Lord's willing that I'm here and still doing the channel. And I got so much more knowledge with this stuff. I got plans for next fall, whether we have a, a Arctic freeze or not, because we don't know the weather. And you know, we got so many people that took over God and Mother Nature job knowing stuff. And I'm not telling you to listen to them, but I, I'm just sorry. It's so much that I listen to. Because, you know, from experience, I know better. I know how this weather, because this stuff, with this weather doing this, tell them to, we wasn't shocked about this at all. Yeah, that's not unusual. I mean, we don't have it here that often as we used to when we were coming up. But it, the weather we've had the last few weeks that we get out in, in the teens and stuff like that, that was... That was not uncommon for us when we was coming up as children. Here in Alabama, you know, a yeah. lot of people uh, think they know about Alabama and hadn't ever lived here but doing their research or whatever. Because I tell, I told Tuck, he had gotten a little spoiled with this. He was saying, it really don't get, I said, Tuck, you know it used to get really, really cold here. So uh, you don't never know which year it's going to come back around. And uh, if, if you pay attention to things, things seem to work in cycles. You know, you go some years without having something, then you get get some in a row, like right? like snow here. We don't get snow very often. By, by, by every five or six years or so, you pay attention to it. We'll get some snow. It, it may not be, it won't be no a large amount like you get up in a lot of the uh, northern states and other stuff like that. But uh, if you pay attention to things, things goes in cycle. Now, sometimes it may be off a few years or something like that, but but. Uh, but uh, it, it will and usually do come around. Well, okay, guys, he's, he's so right about that, and we plan on talking more about that to you guys in the, in the, in the future. But like I say, I'm getting ready to go out grocery shopping. I like to do my grocery shopping early in the morning because it used to would not be that uh, crowded, and the shelves and stuff would be uh, uh, stocked very well. But that's not the, that's not the case now because people got different work times and be off like, you know, so, you know, be off all all through the week. You're liable to find the grocery stores and stuff just, you know, just as full on uh, Mondays or Fridays or in the morning and stuff as you would on a, like a Saturday morning when people uh, normally used to go out and do their uh, shopping and stuff. So, uh, t guys, I'm going I'm to I'm sign off and Gary going to go, uh, go over there and show you his collars, how they came back up, you know. We're looking very, very much so forward to uh, sharing our little knowledge with you guys. Like I told you guys, if it just helped one person, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Because God uses his people. He got, it's so many of us in the world. God got so many uh, uh, angels and people that love the Lord around and about. And he want us to help each other. Even though you may think we he don't the way the world is not, but what you can do for one person, we can't worry about the whole world. God got it. He really, really got it, you know. All he expected the one that have the faith and believe in him to do what we supposed to do. Even though we are not perfect people and sometimes fall short, but still as a whole, just get up, ask God for forgiveness and stuff, and go on and just develop your relationship with God you will really get you will really understand how to be content and enjoy your life so I'm gonna turn it over to Tuck guys have a blessed weekend and know that um may they love you guys and uh, get ready to do your spring crops because I will be keeping you up on it because I'm going today to get something that I will be share with you probably in a few days uh, in the video so uh, okay guys Tuck got you and he's gonna sign out for me and I'll see how he's doing how he's gonna do how much he can remember as to what I say or you can say whatever you want to say bye guys
Okay guys, these are the collard plants that I have plant. And like May May said, uh, we did not put anything over these collards, anything when that hard freeze came through. It did take a toll on them, got them looking kind of rough looking. Times of some of the leaves that you can see are turning brown on some of them. And I have to get out here and work on them a little bit. And But you can see, I still have quite a few collards here. We'll still be able to eat collards here over the winter from not only what I have here but what May May had up here in the race bed garden we just showed. So we just kind of want to let you see that we were blessing that area. And now I don't know what it would have done if it would have had cold like that for a solid week or more. What we will be saying the same thing or not. But we did have it for uh, for a little free time, for close to a week. But we only got down into the teens, I think, overnight, several, uh, several nights. But it was several nights and days that where we didn't get above freezing at all. So, and we were just blessed to be able to still have some. Now, we lost, like Mamie said, she lost some stuff in the greenhouse and stuff like that. And we were just fortunate and blessed that we didn't lose it because I really was a thinking that this was these uh collards and stuff would not do well now i knew collards are cold weather crops and they used to do better do okay in cold weather but i said we didn't we don't get this extreme cold like we got here the last few weeks here off them, uh now okay guys just wanted to show you that remember what may may say think positive you should come and sense. May may love you. So do I. Till next time. Have a good day.